recently I've discovered this, How to Grow Your Own Poem by Kate Clancy. And you can see how useful I think it is by all the little post-it notes stuck inside. One of the things that Kate says is when you're editing a poem, remember to make it fresher, not grander. And I think that's really useful advice. We're often tempted in an attempt to make our poem memorable or important to leave in lots of grandiose images and verbs and abstract ideas. When in fact, what will hold the reader's attention more might be a very fresh image. A very surprising verb. Or a disruption of chronology so that you're not telling your story in the order in which it actually happened. There are many, many ways to make your poem fresher, not grander. And that's a healthy way to think about re-editing, I think.